So I love fringe violet. It's one of my favourite Aussie bush flower essences. Okay. Because it's about old traumas and stuff oh. that affects us forever because of a trauma that's happened. Okay. Not one we've had before? So it's at the silver princess is coming. Ah oh, yes, knowing your life direction. Yeah. So fringe violet. There's always little affirmations at the beginning, yep, and it's saying, yes, you need to hear it. Be at peace and see a clear pattern and plan running through your life. Nothing is by chance. Okay, so it's for damage to aura, shock or trauma, lack of psychic protection, poor recuperation since a short trauma or shock, fear of physical contact since an assault. Okay. So it's the first three, the last two aren't showing up particularly. Mm -hmm. So the positives are removal of effects of recent or old traumas, reintegration of physical and etheric bodies, and psychic protection, but all three, three of those okay. are saying that would be nice. Thank you very much. Okay. My life force now radiates good health and vitality. My life force now radiates good health and vitality. Oh. Okay, is there psychological reversal? Yep. Want, need, think, safe, believe, deserve, trust, deserve. Bloody Catholic, just joking. <laughs> I deserve to let go of this problem. Hold. I deserve to keep this problem. Hold. <laughs> okay, little unconscious brain, time to shimmy on. Okay, I am balanced and integrated and have universal protection now. What does that one mean to you? Because the protection showed up a couple of times. Do you feel like you are purely on your own and no one else is looking out for you? Yep, yep. that's exactly how I feel at the okay. moment. Okay, I am balanced and integrated and have universal protection now. Because now that I don't have the work, yeah. nobody would miss me. Yeah, oh, okay, because you're working on your own. That's right, I'm home by myself. Right. Huh. Okay. I just don't know what to do about it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is there psychological reversal? Want, need, think, so. Yeah, and that takes away your sense of safety. It's like mm. your safety net is gone at the moment. Yeah. It is safe to let go of this problem. Hold. It is safer to keep this problem. Hold. Yeah, so your brain wants to keep the issue of not feeling universal protection because by not feeling universally protected, it means you're constantly vigilant, so you're looking out for yourself. Mm. Uh, and your brain doesn't feel like it's safe to let go of that feeling. Your brain wants you to feel, your brain wants you to feel alone. So that, I know, yeah, it's a safety thing because if you accidentally forget that you're alone and something happens, what do you do? Mm. So, but I think the way we can interpret that for you is that there's going to be stuff you can do so that that doesn't happen. Mm. And I think you're already onto it. You still need to create these little things in your life yeah. so that there's yeah. connections happening automatically anyway. Yeah so that there will be someone who won't, you know. Well, yesterday when I got myself together again, I started writing down um, things to do. So yeah, then, okay. then I know that I'm with, with somebody or, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Hold. Hold. Yeah. yeah, it was just like a light bulb moment yesterday afternoon. I, yeah, got things done and I could think again. Yeah. Yeah, and it's it's uh it's the right side, so your center of gravity is off to the right, which is the masculine. Mm. But it's almost like a preemptive because nothing's changed in your life except that you're not going to work those few days a mm, week with right. other people. Yeah. So you're still doing it on your own. It's not as many hours. Oh or is no, it about? no, it's only three hours. Yeah. Yeah. So 
and but your brain is preemptively exhausted by having to do everything yourself and by having to be the only person looking after you in your world mm. so it's preemptively exhausting exhausted yeah. But is that normal to think like that or? Oh, it's pretty normal. And it's there's nothing wrong with that. And the fact that you're aware of it, like you're aware of it. Yeah, yeah. You know, and then and it's uh and you knew it was gonna shift. Yeah. You know, because yeah. of the whole jibbity jab, non jibbity jab thing. Yeah. So let's just hope the mandates yeah. disappear at some stage and life is good, life is good, life is good. Yeah, but it really, you know, so thinking about whether or not it's normal, it's your brain trying to keep you protected because you do live at home with a dog. Yeah. So therefore, you do need some mechanisms in place and probably just having, you know, now you've consciously realised that. Yeah. Nothing wrong with the realisation. It yeah. was always there anyway. Yeah. Except yeah. you were seeing people a few times a week more yeah. than you are now. Yeah, right. What are you going to do with yourself? Well, that's that's what I'm trying to figure out. Mm. Yeah, you know, but that's where the motivation's got to come to mm. to get me uh, out and do something. Did I tell you I tried? Oh, no, I haven't tried it. That's a lie. It's tomorrow night. Um, I went to a reading of Mercury for Steel Magnolias. Oh, okay. So there's only six women in it, yeah. and I said to Carmel, as long as I don't get Weezer, Carmel said, I don't want to be Weezer when I grow up. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly the sort of old woman I want to be. Uh, anyway, I was thinking something like that, even just helping backstage or something could be yeah. something fun. But I had to do a reading, Malin, uh, Malin, when her daughter, do you know the movie very well? No. So you know Sally Fields' oh, daughter, yeah, yeah, Julia yeah, Roberts yeah, dies, yeah, yeah. and she goes into the hairdressers and says that she needs a hair done, that she looks like a horror. Yeah. And anyway, and they said, oh, tell us what happened. So she starts telling about the last few hours in hospital yeah. and how her hubby ran off and her son ran off and she was the only one in there. and and. Um, you know, when there were problems, she was the one who was having to talk to the doctors. And so anyway, it was a bit, a bit of a monologue. And of course, I started to cry. <laughs> and the director thought I was bringing in all these fantastic acting emotions. <laughs> of course, I was thinking about mum. So I could barely finish the last sentence. Mm. God, I'm a good actress. <laughs> yeah, I'm funny. So they're up and running again. Yeah. So they had one at Christmas, but because they've made such a big um, uh, loss over the last couple of years, because, you know, they've started and stopped a couple of plays, mm. you know, haven't been able to continue when mandates have come in and stuff, and now, you know, it's they need to make some money, so they figured they needed a fairly big show. Mm. And there were about 12 women there the first night, and auditions are tomorrow night and Monday night. Oh, right. Well, good luck. Thank you. Yeah, that would be a fun one to be in, I think. Mm. Let's know when that's on, because Joy and I come over for those and set that day up. Nice. That lunch over here. Ah, mm. oh, one of the matinees. It's the first yeah. three weeks of June. Oh, okay. Sympathetic nervous system. Okay. So the sympathetic nervous system, when it's up and running, and once again, it's keeping the survival stuff going, mm -hmm. and it shuts down the ability to relax and chillax and just be happy. So, And you can imagine there's a big difference between feeling depressed and not doing anything and feeling relaxed and chilled. Yeah. They're yeah, two yeah, different yeah. lots of hormones yes. and emotions. and.
Yeah, like wanting to escape submission freeze, not so good for motivation. Mm. I had a had my act together yesterday. I was going to run away with the dog. We were just <laughs> going to get in the car and go somewhere. Cool. So I just couldn't get myself. And many yeah. national parks don't allow dogs, do they? Yeah. Rass. You just drive somewhere and get out and go for a walk and nice. get back in again and go somewhere else. We regularly see dogs in national parks. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Oh, really? Who's going to do anything? Yeah, that's right. You see. Okay, so this is no surprise whatsoever given the shenanigans, the churchy shenanigans. Your auditory integration points are overloaded, so they don't want to hear anything at the moment. So it's like it's it's like the you felt attacked, mm. even though you know they're probably mm. not meaning to be like that. But um, oh, they were just doing it for my own good. Yes, hold out. The first thing I came in, I thought, oh, well, I'm just going to die anyway. Because so. <laughs> that's what they keep telling you. If you don't go and have it, yeah. you're going to die. Not what the statistics are telling us. In fact, the numbers out of uh, New South Wales, it was like two weeks in January, mm. and it was 99.5% of the people were actually one, two or three jabbed. Mm. So it was only half a percent who were unjabbed. And then, you know, they're manipulating. They admitted it on the news last night. I don't know whether you saw that, but Jared Rennick, Senator Rennick, um, basically made them admit on public television that anyone in hospital is considered a COVID case or victim if they've had it within 30 days. Yeah. So... And I know lots of people who've had it with hardly any symptoms whatsoever. And I know Omicron, you know, is nice and gentle mm. compared to the other ones. But nonetheless, hardly any symptoms. And they're positive for weeks afterwards. Mm. So because the tests are so sensitive, you know, they yeah. can pick up the tiniest little bit regardless of whether or not we're contagious or not. Yeah. But you'd be contagious as it's coming on, wouldn't you? Oh, well, certainly people like Robert Malone and Peter McCullough say that you you have to have symptoms. So they pretty much say the asymptomatic spread just never existed and that okay. that was a fib with this particular virus. It was just a way of, you know, manipulating the data. And two years in, um, there's lots of evidence coming out that that manipulation has been fairly rife around the world. And Paul Murray, is he Sky News? Yeah, it must be yeah. Sky News. So of the 2,700 deaths we've had in Australia from coronavirus, they suspect eight were actually of coronavirus that actually killed them. So eight in our whole population in the last two years. And the average age of death is still like 82 and a half or something like that. Blah, blah. So no, you get sick, you give me a ring. You know, it's no big deal. Like if I got a sore throat, I'd just stay at home. Yeah. Yeah. And all the old things like, um, you know, uh, respiratory stuff, sticking yourself under a thing and breathing in eucalyptus oh, yeah. Yeah, and, eucalyptus, you know, all of yeah. those things because yeah. it's, a, it's an upper respiratory thing. So any of those things help. You know, having plenty of garlic and onion having plenty of lemons, having plenty of vitamin C, having plenty of zinc and even the good old garlic, you know, salt yeah. gargles. Okay. There's so much we can do. Sunshine. 
detox baths. That's with the Epsom salts in there. Well, anything. You know, if you've got apple cider vinegar at home, use a cupful of that in there. If you've got bicarb soda. I'm the bath at the moment. Oh, okay. No, That's yeah, what I've got good work. Yeah, I've got rid of the bath. So oh, yeah. that was silly. <laughs> How come you got rid of it? Well, I only had tiny bathrooms. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep, yep. And was it a tiny bath? No, but... Arabella reckons that Nana had the smallest shower in the whole universe. <laughs> we you don't only, exaggerate. You can only stand in there. <laughs> the bath took up most of the room. That's funny. Okay. My life force now radiates good health and vitality. My life force now radiates good health and vitality. And hold. Oh, well. Okay. Is there any psychological reversal? Want, need, think, say, believe, deserve, trust. They're not there, but I'll just check. I deserve to let go of this problem. Excellent. Okay. So, I am balanced and integrated and have universal protection now. I am balanced and integrated and have universal protection now. Do you ever say a prayer to your angels or guides or, you know? Sometimes. So maybe that's a thought, you know, yeah. waking up in the morning and just yeah. sort of saying, hey dudes, nice to know you're there, look after yeah. me today, keep yeah. me motivated, just sort of throw it out there in the morning. Yeah. You know, as another way of connecting, you yeah. know, so you don't feel alone. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Kind of a butterfly story. No, beautiful. I am balanced and integrated and have universal protection now. Hold. And that one was safety. It is safe to let go of this problem. Hold. Good. Yay. Yeah. And no surprise, that's from your mum's side of the family. Okay. And um, it's seven drops. So you probably took on some of that energy in the womb. Let's check your foot proprioceptors. Hold, hold, good. Hold, hold, hold. It doesn't really like that. Hold, hold. I might just do a couple of little um, things on your knees here because neither of them are optimal. They're not bad, but they're just not optimal. Okay. So I'm going to firstly put pressure on the inside of the patellas. And what I want you to do with the breath is breathe in and roll your knees inwards, okay? Breathe in, breathe out, roll in. Beautiful. And breathe in and relax. Breathe out, roll in. Breathe in. Breathe out, roll in. Okay? And then I'm going to put my thumbs on the outside, all of my fingers, and then so I'm going to get it roll out. Breathe in, breathe out, roll out. Breathe in, breathe out, roll out. Breathe in, breathe out, roll out. It's just trying to reset the little proprioceptors so it's a little, little PNF stretch. So it just wakes up the little uh, goggly tendon apparatuses. That's where, it's sore, there, where you were touching on the outside. On the outside. Okay. Okay. And hold, hold. I felt better. Hold, hold. Feel the difference? Yeah. Yeah. Let's check your femurs as well. Hold up for me. Hold up for me. Oh, really? Interesting. So your left one's not in, not optimal. Okay. And wakey, wakey, wakey. Go for a swing. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Roll that fascia lata back into place. And hold. Beautiful. And what about? Tension at the top of the knee and the bottom of the knee. 
Beautiful. Okay, I'll just do the whole foot, foot to hip, hold. Oh, it doesn't like that. Foot to hip, hold. Right, so that's asking about compression, ankle, knee, hip. It's not checking anything specifically, but it doesn't like it. Okay. Which means being on your feet, no surprise, with the weight going from your hip to your knees to your feet, yeah. your body doesn't like it. Okay. So it's arguing with you about it. So. Just get the weight off again. <laughs> So, so what I'm going to do is put pressure on your heels and these aren't going to go anywhere. It's more an energetic movement. Okay. But I'm going to get you to breathe out and when you're breathing out, you push your heels towards me. Okay? Breathe in, breathe out and push. And breathe in and relax. Breathe out and push. And breathe in and relax. Breathe out and push. a squeeze and hold and hold much hold yeah much better so now I'm going to tug your legs okay. yeah you're gonna pull your foot so pull your foot and hold no it doesn't like that either and pull and hold no okay so this time I need to stretch your leg and you're going to be pulling your leg back towards okay. yourself once again it's not going anywhere okay. so Breathe in, breathe out and pull back towards you. And breathe in and relax, breathe out and pull. And breathe in and relax, breathe out and pull. Good, and I can see your muscles activating there. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, stretchy and hold and hold. Excellent. Very good. Okay, so you can imagine if your body doesn't like either being stretched or relaxed, the legs were sort of a bit screwed. So yes. we've got them both working and your feet are talking to your brain again. Good. Fascia lata's back in, little lap dorsies are back in. So hopefully that's another layer and you're having a massage with Ranaji tomorrow, aren't tomorrow, you? Tomorrow, yeah. Beautiful. Good, good. Okay, let me just check. Is there anything else we need to do to finish off? Beautiful. This is a new program for this body now and in the future, the old program for this body is no longer necessary now in the future. Hallelujah and amen. Yes, <laughs> go on. Beautiful. Thank you, lovely. Thank you. Yay. Yes. <laughs> Awesome. Oh, yeah. We'll see you all again next month. Okay. <laughs> see ya.